Hi guys, this is Rishab Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this tutorial, guys, I'm going to teach about ID selectors. Guys, ID selectors in CSS used to specify a single or a sing, uh, unique element. Just for an example, suppose we have three paragraphs. I will write this is paragraph one, so, and uh, I will copy it. I'll copy it and I will paste it twice and I will change its name this is paragraph 1 this is paragraph 2 and this is paragraph 3 if I'll open it in browser now you can see so I think I haven't saved it so this is paragraph 1 2 and 3 guys I want to change the property of a single paragraph uh, before we were doing like this like P color green if I refresh now you can see the color property of all paragraphs has been changed but we want to change the property of a single paragraph in order to do that we will use id selector and its syntax it starts with a pound sign and the name of the id selector whatever you want to give to it guys I want to tell you one more thing that don't start the name of a id selector with a number because it will not work in all browsers it is not compatible in with all browsers so firstly we will change the color property set color to white and uh, background color to blue firstly I will refresh it nothing will happen because we haven't applied this ID to any of the paragraphs I am applying it to second one so I will enter ID equal to P1 don't include a pound sign so when I will refresh it now you can see the background color property or color property of second paragraph has been changed because we have applied this ID selector to second paragraph so if we will apply it to first paragraph then this property will be applied to first paragraph so guys I want to tell you one more thing that ID selector and class selectors are mostly used with div tags guys, div tags uh, div tags are mainly used to divide our template into different different blocks just for an example first we will create a div tag it's div div means we are creating a template and that the how the browser will un understand that this is the header of template this is the left name this is the right name and this is the footer we can use div tags in that case so firstly we will create a ID which suppose we are creating a header of a document so I am giving it a ID of head header whatever you want to give to it I am giving it a header I will give it a width of 500 pixels and a height of 160 pixels and a border 1 pixel solid guys about border width and height properties and rest of the properties which I uh, or many properties which I use uh, which I am using in this uh, tutorial I will teach you about these properties in my upcoming tutorials in detail I am uh, using these properties just for the demonstration of ID selector and class selector so the header we have created the header ID and we will refresh nothing will happen so we will write something in our detail this is header so we let this is header and we will give this id to this div tag so i will enter header they were divided header now if i refresh it now you can see this is header and it's given a width of 500 and height of 160 so in this way we we will make our different different blocks and this uh, this will when we will combine these blocks or uh, through css coding or HTML then it will become a template I will teach you about this in my upcoming tutorials so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel let's see in the next tutorial